In Bahrain, relatives and supporters of an imprisoned hunger striker are very concerned about his worsening condition. They say they haven't been able to have contact with Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja since Saturday. He's been refusing food for two months now to protest his prison sentence for his role in anti-government demonstrations. We've got comprehensive coverage of this story for you. Al Leone Lahani is in Abu Dhabi with the latest on the hunger strikers condition and Dan Rivers is in London looking into the potential impact of the situation on the upcoming Bahrain Grand Prix. We'll go to Dan in a moment but obviously let's begin with you uh, Leone in Abu Dhabi. Uh, what is the latest news out of Bahrain about his condition and access to him? Michael as you mentioned the family hasn't seen him in over uh, a week and Al Khawaja is entering his 61st day of the hunger strike on Monday. Um, they haven't spoken to him in over two days and the last time his daughter Zainab spoke to him she said that he sounded like he was having trouble breathing, that he was having trouble speaking uh, and she was very concerned that his uh, health was really deteriorating. Uh, the family was supposed to meet him on Sunday or told they would be and in, in the end uh, they were not granted access so they haven't seen him. Um, so at the moment, uh, Michael, that's what the family says. Now the government on the other hand uh, says that he is in, uh, he's in good condition, he's in stable condition, uh, that he is not in danger and that he's being uh, tended by doctors around the clock, uh, that he's being given minerals, fluids um, um, as well. We don't know exactly how those fluids and minerals have been administered though, uh, Michael, but uh, we've been told by the government that he's not being force fed. And those are the details we've got from them, Michael. And, and an offer from Denmark thrown into the mix as well. Uh, that's right. The Do Danish government, Al Khawaja is a Danish citizen. He lived there for some time. The Danish government had requested that he get transferred to Danish authorities uh, on Sunday, and that request has been denied by Bahraini authorities. Their main legal body basically said that he didn't meet the special conditions needed uh, for a prisoner transfer, Michael. Leonie Lakhani, thanks so much. Let's move on now to Dan Rivers in our London uh, studio. Dan, uh, you know, the, the Formula One Grand Prix. Uh, very controversial that it's going ahead. Uh, what's the latest on the pressure being applied? Well, there are more voices now saying that it should be cancelled. It was cancelled, of course, last year amid all those protests just a few days before the Grand Prix happened. It's still, uh, what, just uh, under two weeks now. There's the Chinese Grand Prix next weekend first, and then uh, it, it switches to the Middle East. So uh, there is a growing from Damon Hill, former uh, world champion, from uh, some uh, politicians here saying uh, the timing is not right uh, and it would uh, reflect badly on the sport. Damon Hill saying uh, it would, uh, we would be seen to be enforcing martial law in order to hold the race, and that's not what this sport uh, should be about. Bernie Eccleston, though, the head of uh, Formula One, is saying it's business uh, as usual, and uh, the Bahrain International Circuit, the venue where this is being held, is saying it's in regular contact with the FIA, the FOM, and the Bahrain government. All of the above continue to state that the Grand Prix goes ahead. So at the moment they're saying it will go ahead. Whether that will be reviewed if the health uh, of Mr. Al uh, Khawaja uh, deteriorates or if, uh, uh, God forbid, he, he dies as a result of his 61 days on hunger strike, we'll have to wait and see. Clearly that may well provoke more protests in Bahrain uh, and that is something I'm sure the organisers of the Grand Prix are desperately hoping doesn't happen because it will involve, if nothing else, an enormous amount of logistics being changed. You imagine all of these teams with their cars, all of the mechanics and so on that are at the moment scheduled to go from China to Bahrain. There'd be, be an awful lot of, uh, uh, of things to change if that Grand Prix is cancelled. And, and it wouldn't be cheap to do so, I imagine. No, I mean, when they did this last year, they cancelled it. It's thought that that cost about half a billion dollars uh, for uh, the Bahrain uh, government and the organizers. So it is an enormous amount of money at stake, huge amounts of sponsorship and TV rights uh, at stake. It would be too late for them to put on an, uh, an alternative race elsewhere. So they would simply lose a race out of the calendar, uh, which is, you know, uh, as I say, worth about half a billion dollars. It's a massive amount of money. Sure is, Dan. Thanks so much.